Um, for me, I know we had a short campaign, mm -hmm. but I find that we didn't have much of a presence on social media. Mm -hmm. And when I say much of a presence on social media, I don't, I don't just mean like posting up pictures and stuff. Right. Going forward, because I'm telling you, early on, I myself, and I know much of us, didn't take much, this is Antigua, you know, note and, and, and importance to what? To me, this guy is the biggest scammer in Antigua and Barbuda. Hmm. That guy they call Jeju, he oh, is yes. the biggest yes. scammer in Antigua yes. and Barbuda. Yes. And I can say that because this guy, and I, I said to myself, I hope that guy will go and find work to do. Mm -hmm. This guy this comes on Facebook in the name of bringing information to people. I, and, and, and I mean, at, as I said, I know many of us didn't take it seriously, but he has brought a lot of lies and deception. Imagine you, <laughs> just like the, the guy, Astafan, and so forth, and the other guy out of Barbados this who, you know, was this theorist through the whole... Garbin? Yes, through mm -hmm. the whole corona stuff. Now, mm -hmm. the, thing of, the thing that hurt me with this guy, Jay Truth, now, when he started out this thing, you know, he said that both the ALP and the UPP, because at that time he was saying, he called the UPP control opposition. Mm -hmm. This is so he was saying both news. the ALP and the UPP is in on this whole thing to, you know, lock us down and give us vaccine and vaccine is going to do this thing. So when I now hear this guy now flip this whole thing and now with UPP, I said, this guy, something is with him. <laughs> and he sits on Facebook and, and he, has, he has our people sending money to him mm -hmm. too buy this equipment and to buy that equipment in the yes, name of exactly bringing information to them. Mm. <laughs> and to me, it's, it's one of the biggest scams. You know, going is. back to this J2 thing, <clears throat> it tells me too that, you know, we have to do something about, you know, our, our youth in particular. Because, yes, the youth. You yeah. know, J2 is nothing but a degenerate. Ooh. And when this guy, you know, can be having the type of following that we this see, you know, in this modern society and with the type of vulgarity, it, it, you know, it is just unfathomable that this could be happening in the 21st century. Mm -hmm. And those who follow him, they do so to their own peril. Well, well, yes. You know, and, and I just hope that they will wake up from this slumber to understand that this dude is just... Uh, yet another mercenary that is paid by UPP and Asset and so on to carry misinformation mm -hmm. and to tear down decent people in this society. Mm -hmm. But as you said, you know, uh, you know, his, his days are number two. So yeah. at, a, at some point, people will recognize that, look, this guy makes no sense. And um, even the monies that he continue to beg instead of doing yes, something constructive with his life. Mm -hmm. It will come to an end. You know, it's not going to last forever. It will come to yeah, an end. Yeah, Prime Minister, you heard what um, Tanyo said? Gloves off. Gloves off. Yes. I am giving J Truth a notice, right? Because this term, it is going to be a different thing. Yes, I love all it. All of us, all of us, because I'm telling you, I went to my bed sick. This is Antigua. Breaking I went news. to my bed sick election night because hmm. at one point I said, I mean, it was almost over for us. Mm -hmm. And all of us had to put in the work. Some people believe, you know, I had to, I had to tell somebody, this thing ain't about Justin Brown or, mm -hmm. or Cutie Benjamin. Precisely, or Armin. precisely. All of us, precisely. All, all, most of us as young children, mm -hmm. we have to think about the future of this nation. And as a young man, I want to put Jay Truth on notice because I want him to understand that this term, it will be a different thing. And if he thinks he's going to have the free reign. That's the point. The free reign on Facebook mm -hmm. to continue with his rhetoric. Mm -hmm. He has the next thing coming. Yep. We have to definitely get our mm -hmm. army of um, supporters. 
to deal with him. And he let me say this is this is not no violence, yeah. But no, it's not violent. To go after him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chu cannot them. be going on on, mm -hmm. on, on on social media and get a free pass. This is all of, no, I don't know all of a sudden. Let me qualify my statement by stating here I'm not talking about any violence. violence. No, no, no. But we can match them because they're rotten elements, they're yeah. degenerates. Mm. And we, we, we should be able to, to go on them. any platform and nail them to the cross. Mm. We have to do it. Because I agree. I, to, I realize. And I'm that's, that's what was lacking. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you give them free passes, you don't challenge them, don't they challenge dominate them. the space. Yeah. They dominate the space. And, 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 and listen to me. Our yes, people have, have to, to understand. Our is. people, I think some of our people are still dormant as to believe as though election is finished and they're gone. But these people, I think the worst of it is yet to come from these people. Precisely. Because to me, to me, they are out to cause confusion in Antigua. and want to mash up the country to get power. They want to mash up Antigua. Yes. And yes, to me, the worst of the so fight is yet to come. We better understand, you know, mm -hmm. it's not Gaston Brown you're defending. They're not You're defending listening. the interests of the, the state. They're coming the to destroy our country. This is Antigua Breaking News. This is Antigua Breaking News.